Thank you for tuning into this Eyes on Asia video. My name is Yao and I'm a museum educator. Today, we'll focus on two works of art from the Seattle Asian Art Museum and think about how designs across cultures can change over time. After three years of renovations, the Seattle Asian Art Museum reopened with the addition of these two new gallery spaces in February 2020. Not only can you find artwork from many regions in Asia at the museum, but you can also see artwork from many time periods, including the present day. These galleries show artworks by contemporary Asian artists who often live and work all over the world. We're going to take a moment to look closely at the artwork. Before we talk about it, spend some time looking at the different parts of the image. You can choose to move in and notice the small details. You can choose to move back and take in how it looks as a whole. Let's look closely. Don't do anything else but look until you've counted to 20 in your head or out loud. Now I'm going to ask a few questions to help you share your ideas about this artwork. I'll wait after each question to give you some thinking time. Feel free to pause the video at any time if you'd like more time. You can think to yourself or talk about it with someone else. If you're in a group, raise your hand to share and listen to what others have to say. What do you see? What do you think about the things you observe? What do you wonder about this artwork? Thank you for reflecting and sharing your ideas about this artwork. At the museum, you can look at the label nearby to learn more about the artwork, such as the person who made it, when it was made, and what materials were used to make it. This artwork is titled Oiling, and it was created by Azerbaijani artist Feg Ahmed. Throughout his career, he has combined traditional weaving with surprising patterns that might look like a glitch on a computer screen, or in this case, part of the artwork melting away like the wavy look of oil on water. In an interview with textileartist.org, Feg Ahmed said, as any other Azeri family, we had carpets everywhere on the floor, on the walls, in each room. I had a carpet in my room too. I was always playing with the patterns of the carpet, imagining there were roads, trees, dragons, etc. One day when my parents left for the countryside, I decided to change the places of the patterns and cut the carpet into pieces. Of course, I never managed to gather the pieces together. Is there a design or pattern where you live that is special to you? Why do you think the artist decided to make the bottom half look so different from the top half? Have you ever seen a tradition in your family or community change over time? As Fayyabed said, traditional woven carpets can be used on the ground or hung up on the wall for decoration. You might be wondering what a traditional design, similar to the one the artist remembered from his childhood, looks like. Here is an example of a bed covering from Sam's collection that will be on view at the museum. Sheets of dyed cloth like this palampur were made in India to sell around the world in the late 17th and 18th centuries. They were decorated with fruits, birds, and other detailed patterns. In Europe, they were used as bed covers and were also hung on the walls of bedrooms. In Southeast Asia, they could be displayed during religious ceremonies. What colors, shapes, or lines do you see? What do you think about your observations? What designs or patterns do you see? What purpose might they have?
Now look at these two artworks side by side. What is similar about them? How are they different? Why might Feg Ahmed want his artwork to look symmetrical and detailed on top, but then wavy at the bottom? What if you could create a bottom half for the palm pour inspired by oiling? Imagine that the bottom part of the palm pour pattern looked changed or altered in some way, like it was melted, swirled, swept up in the wind, or something else happened to it. Make a sketch of how that might look on a piece of paper. Or, if you like how the bottom half looks already, draw some of the lines and shapes you see. Now hold it up to the image of the palm pour on your screen. Does it remind you of oiling? What do you see that makes you say that? Feel free to continue to add any color or details to your sketch on your own as you keep creating. Visit Sam's website to find more lessons and activities connecting art at the Seattle Asian Art Museum to our lives. Thanks for watching and learning with us.